It's Chantal from vivalavegan.net and this is a blog for uh, 2016 I guess. Um, sorry I haven't been doing many vlogs for a while. I've been a bit busy with real life and trying to balance everything that I want to do and the stuff that I need to do as well. So um, I probably haven't really spoken too much online since about last year and um, that was around about the time with all the vegan events like October, November and um, I was raising money for my vegan athletes book as well, my fourth book that I've released. And um, it was a pretty intense time of year and I was also working on the updates for my vivalavegan.net website for the 10th anniversary. And yeah, it was just a bit too much, too much happening all in one short space in time. I thought I would have um, some time off over Christmas and I normally try to have at least 10 days off Christmas, New Year sort of time. A Boxing Day was when my book was finalized online and um, I also had to finish a few things with my website so it was ready for the new year. So I didn't really have a break. Anyway, um, the launch of my book happened in February and because I didn't have a break I got quite sick and I just had a cough that I could not shift no matter what I did and um, so I decided it was a pretty good time to go over to Ubud in Bali, Indonesia, one of my favourite places in the world and um, I went over there pretty much to try and not do anything. I still had a bit of work I had to do, I'm, like I just focused on Monday, Wednesday and Friday for work stuff and the rest of the time I I tried to chill out so I read about six books I um, worked on my tan did a lot of swimming just walked around I love just walking around at Ubud and meeting people and there's so many great vegan places there and I met some really cool people too I hung out with my friend Christy from Texas I saw my friend Robert and Karen um, from Portland or Oregon and um, I made some new friends too so that was really cool and um, so it was really good just to have a month off and hang out with some of my local friends as well including Santi and her daughter and sister um, and then I came back home to Australia and um, that was the beginning of the cruelty free super vegan lifestyle tour that I organized and I hosted so in case you don't know cruelty free super is a superannuation company a retirement company and in Australia we have to have that if you are employed by someone you have to put a certain amount of money into a superannuation fund for your staff and um, so we had Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne events for that. Lee Coates from Cruelty Free Super and his wife Sue came over from the UK for this and they joined myself and my good friend Billy Simmons from Prana On. So the four of us did all three um, events. Brisbane we had Alejandro Sansino from Fen Foods Now and from Urbane Restaurant and we had Brad King from Farm Animal Rescue. Um, in Melbourne was next, we had Pam Mahone from Edgar's Mission and we had Pana Baboranus from Pana Chocolates. In Sydney we had um, Bead Carmody from A Poultry Place and we had Katrina Fox from Vegan Business Media. It was really cool, it was great but of course you know I had to everything was happening, had a good chill out for a month and then it was right back into things again. So I need to somehow work on that balance. But I've been trying, to, I've been speaking to a lot of my friends who we all have our own businesses and no one seems to be getting that life work balance thing right. So it's not just me. Um, and so after that, um, I've been, I've just been down the Gold Coast um, in Queensland, still so close to where I mostly live in Brisbane, um, in the state of Queensland and um, in Australia. And I was there for three months doing a house sit and it was awesome. I made some great new vegan friends down there. It was a great vegan community. A lot of my good friends live down there too. So it was great to be just around the corner from a lot of them. And I spoke at a lot of events, an entrepreneurial group called Vegan Business uh, Network. And I did a talk on consistency and commitment in business and beyond, which was really cool. It was the first time I did that. And then I was also part of a panel with Billy Simmons, James Aspie and Chrissy Carvalho and that was on Mock Meats and um, that was actually really interesting and um, you can have a look at those videos online too. 
And I also was interviewed by local vegan veteran Harry Bowman, who has a vegan hour every Tuesday, I believe, at about 8 p.m. Australian time. And you can have a look at those online and on Facebook too. And it was just really cool. Ate a lot of food and hung out with some friends, made some really good contacts and had a good time. I'm back now in Brisbane. I've been helping out my great friend Jessica Bailey, who owns a cruelty free shop. She's been running that, that for about 15 years. She has a storefront in Sydney and one in Melbourne now and she's just opening the Brisbane store and um, I've been helping out with that and um, she's also going to open one in Canberra in October. I've also been helping out with the Briz Vegan Festival that's put on by uh, Sarah Wade and um, it's really exciting that's actually happening this Sunday and um, that's when all my vegan events start again so I just want to go through a few of those with you now and um, brace yourself so there's quite a few and this is pretty much the rest of my year so um, back home for a bit and then going to do the vegan speaking tour for a few months and then come home I have a house at the end of the year and then it's on to the next year and I'm actually hoping to be in the UK and Europe mid next year so if there's anything that I need to be there for or anywhere you want me to speak at whether it's related to veganism or my other topics I speak on like social media and marketing online communication online etiquette all those things that I do for my actual job um, please let me know so um, what's happening next this Sunday um, the 4th of September is Briz Vegan Fest so you can see more information for that brizveganfest.com.au and this is going to be a big afternoon for me actually I have my 20 year school um, reunion the night before so hope I get a bit of sleep from that um, on midday, 12 midday at Briz Vegan Fest, I'm speaking on marketing yourself and veganism online for half an hour. Then at 12.30, I'm going to be hosting the nutrition and wellness panel with Amanda Benham, Holly Moffat and Sarah Farley. After that, at 1.10 p.m., I'll be doing a Q&A with my good friend Alejandro Sancino from Urbane Restaurant at Fen Foods. Um, and then at 1.35, I'm hosting the Vegan Fitness Panel with Billy Simmons, Chrissy Carvalho and Regan Smith. And Billy and Regan were both in my new Vegan Athletes book, so that's pretty exciting. And Chrissy, I did a panel with in um, Gold Coast recently. So that'll be really cool. I'm really looking forward to this Sunday. So if you're in Brisbane, I hope to see you there. If you can't make it, there's a couple of other Brisbane events coming up as well. So on Thursday, the 8th of September, UQ, which is the University of Queensland here in Brisbane, the UQ Veg Society are hosting a panel and it's on animal rights and human responsibilities. And um, I'll be talking, my side will be about intersectionality and how we all interact and how we should remember those sort of things. And um, on the panel with me will be James Aspie, Zaid Watson from Animal Justice Party and Claire Fryer from PETA. Uh, the next weekend is um, two big events on the weekend. Sunday the 17th of September, um, I'm part of the Inspiring Change Animal Action pop-up event held in Coolum, which is up the Sunshine Coast. And um, this is put on by Coast to Coast Animal Friends, and they do a lot of really cool stuff down the Gold Coast, up the Sunshine Coast, and sometimes in Brisbane. I'm going to give a talk on ethics beyond the plate and there'll be a few other speakers and performers there as well and my ethics beyond the plate talk is just focusing on um, the fact that there's so many more things to being vegan than just what you eat and your diet and being fit and looking hot um, there's a lot of ethics involved and um, a lot of intersectionality issues so I like to speak about that and just remind people about these things because I think the vegan movement is losing the core ethics now that a lot of people know about it or now a lot of people are eating a plant-based diet at least um, the next day I'm also giving a similar talk, um, but it'll be a one hour workshop. So it'll be a bit more hands on. You'll get a, you'll get a little um, leaflet to take home with information and you'll probably get to ask me more questions and be a bit more interactive. That's on Sunday, the 18th of September, my dad's birthday. Um, it's Sea Shepherd Ocean Defense Tour. 
and um, yeah my workshop will be on and that will be at the Maritime Museum at Southland. So, okay. end of September beginning of, of October on Friday 30th of September and Saturday 1st of October there's the Institute for Critical Animal Studies conference and um, Institute for Critical Animal Studies call it ICAS for short. I've spoken over in Minneapolis for one of their events overseas a few years ago. I gave a workshop there actually on I think it was staging effective events and engaging volunteers so this time I'm giving my ethics beyond the plate workshop again so that'll be an hour I'm giving that on the Friday because the Saturday I won't be able to go because it's the AFL grand final hopefully it's a good one and Hawthorne doesn't win and um, so that will be in Canberra and I'll be in Canberra that weekend because I'll also be attending the Living Green Festival and um, that will be on Sunday the 2nd of October and I will be giving a talk marketing yourself online and um, the Living Green Festival is really great I enjoy this event it's very similar to my old Green Earth Festival and Green Earth Day um, outdoors environmental focus um, lots of different um, things that are happening not just talks not just stores make sure you come to see me at the cruelty free super stall as well I'll be there all day so that's all of September now we're up to October and um, I've got I'm heading over straight after the Canberra Living Green Festival I'll be going back to my beloved Ubud in Bali because there's a Bali vegan festival I was asked to speak there last year but couldn't go so I made sure that I could go this year it's on Friday the 7th Saturday the 8th and Sunday the 9th of October and um, if you know Ubud um, well it's just off of JL Hanuman in Ubud so JL Hanuman is parallel to JL Monkey Forest and um, it's in Down to Earth Cafe which is now known as Earth Cafe and there's a Paradiso area in there that's um, where you watch films and some movies get screened and I'll be staying in Bali for 10 days either side of that event so if you're there as well let me know in Ubud I will be um, the next weekend after that will be Saturday the 15th and Sunday the 16th which is the animal activist forum and it will be held at Southport down the Gold Coast I haven't spoken at this one for a couple of years I don't think and I used to quite often so I'm looking forward to getting involved gain and I'm giving a marketing yourself and veganism online workshop and that just covers um, I give a lot of training speaking and consulting about using your skills and to promote things online and how to use online things better and I also want to cover some of the things involved in regards to veganism so not just food not just diet related stuff how to inspire people to be more effective effective online and um, how we can work together how we can deal with trolls because there's a lot of negativity online a bit of online etiquette and how to lead by example so um, that's down the coast and there's also a dinner on the Saturday night if you can't attend the actual event. Um, the next weekend is um, on, so that I've got two different events happening. So Saturday the 22nd of October in London, there's the Veg Fest UK and it's held in London and there's actually going to be an area that is um, all for vegan athletes. And because of my vegan athletes book and it's actually selling really really well in the UK I really wanted to get there but it just wasn't going to happen this year because um, I wouldn't have been able to stay for very long I'm going to give a Skype presentation there instead so I'll be speaking at 12 midday London time which is 10 p.m. Melbourne time on Saturday the 22nd of October and um, I'll be speaking about my almost 20 years vegan 10 years of um, running vivalavegan.net, my website, and especially my vegan athletes book because that's what they want me to speak about. And that same weekend, so the next day is going to be a big day because um, that's the World Vegan Day and that's held in Melbourne and that's Australia's biggest vegan event. And I'm going to give my Ethics Beyond the Plate talk and that's on Sunday the 23rd of October. Um, the week after I've decided not to go to cruelty free festival in Sydney um, that weekend because I might be helping out 
um, with Jess uh, for the cruelty free shop opening in Canberra so I've just decided to scrap one from the list um, but um, make sure if you're in Sydney that you head along to that um, and then I have the last one for the year is going to be on Saturday the 5th and Sunday the 6th of November it's the vegan festival in Adelaide this is the first year it's been a two-day event so it should be quite big Adelaide's always quite big and very well organized because Kaz or Grace love now she is very well organized and one of the people her and Jess were actually the two people that convinced me to put on my own festivals in Brisbane um, so I'm, I'm there for cruelty free super I'll be having a store for them both days and I'll also be giving my ethics beyond the plate talk and so if you're around if you're in Australia on any of those days or if you happen to be in any of those cities I'd love to see you make sure you come and say hi let's get a selfie um, and um, I'd love to meet you and hang out good to see people I haven't seen for a while also that live interstate and um, that's November. Then I come home for a while. I've got a few ebooks and programs that I'm working on, not just vegan stuff, but for my other business stuff. And um, that will be pretty much the end of the year. I'm also working on my major big book I'm working on is my book about being vegan for 20 years so that will be out next year sometime because that will be my 20th anniversary for being vegan so they're all the things I'm working on at the moment and you can always find me on the Viva La Vegan website and um, that's the best way to contact me through the contact section which gets to my email um, and I'm also on social media um, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Google+, Pinterest and Instagram now and um, I'd love to see you on there and I hope to see you at some of those events soon. Take care.